What's going on guys? It's Wispin here and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be taking a look at a brand new feature coming very soon to the Poke Central server. Also in this video there will be a little secret on how you can gain a slight advantage, a slight little bonus with this new feature once it's released. So I definitely recommend staying tuned, checking that out and keeping it to yourself so that you guys are the only ones that get the bonus and people that don't watch the videos, they won't ever even know about it. So you already probably saw this in the title, but we are going to be releasing a feature called Pokey Hunt onto the Pokey Central server. Now this is going to be releasing on January 3rd, so next Thursday, it'll be very, very soon. And if you do want to go ahead and take part in this, you'll be able to type slash Pokey Hunt in game, and that should open up the menu that you're going to see here. You can also talk to this guy. He's over on Battle Island, but there's no real reason to come over here. Uh, it's mainly just here so that people that don't know about it might wander across them and then they can learn something new about the server but if we go ahead and right click and talk to this guy you can see it opens up the pokey hunt menu and here you can see this is the pokey hunt challenge now i'm sure a lot of you guys actually already know what pokey hunt is essentially the goal is to give a random pokemon to a player say you have to go find this pokemon and if they bring that pokemon within a specific time frame they will get a reward now what we decided to do here on the server is take it to a whole new level and make it way, way cooler. A lot of servers actually don't have this fully automated and a lot of them don't have as much detail in the system as we do, but it's really, really cool. So let's go ahead and take a look at our first hunt. So. The first thing I do want to note is currently we have it set to where you get a free hunt every eight hours. So you'll be able to log on technically three times a day and get a free hunt, although it's probably going to be more like one or two times a day, depending on your schedule. But every eight hours, and that actually starts counting down from the second you begin your first hunt. Now you can also take note that it says that you currently have zero bonus hunts available. We actually have the ability to give out bonus hunts. I don't exactly know how we're going to do that, but what that allows you to do is actually get more free hunts without having to wait for that cooldown to be finished. You'll also be able to pay gems to get extra hunts at certain points in time, and that'll probably be anywhere from 25 to 100 gems for a free hunt, depending on how we end up setting up the entire system. But I will note you can actually earn gems from the system as well so let's go ahead and click this button here and you will see we have a difficulty selection menu so we have easy hunts we have medium hunts we have hard hunts and we have insane hunts basically they're just different difficulty levels with the easy hunt you'll get a randomly generated species and gender and you'll have to find that pokemon and turn it in within three hours for the medium hunt you'll also have the growth added on there but you get an additional hour to complete that hunt and then for the hard hunt you actually get nature added on there so you need all four of those things to match up but you get six hours to find that pokemon and then for the insane hunt I don't know if people are even going to be able to complete these challenges in time, but you also have a minimum IV percentage, which I believe is a minimum of 65. So anywhere from 65 to 85% IVs could be the minimum requirement for turning in that Pokemon. But on top of that, you also have to have the nature, growth, gender, and species all correct, and you'll have eight hours to complete that challenge. Now, of course, the benefits of doing the harder hunts is the more difficult of a challenge, the better reward and the better payout will be, but it'll also take more time and you have a higher chance of not actually being able to ever find that Pokemon. And if it expires, then you just lose out on your hunt. You don't get any rewards and that's just kind of how it goes. So we're just gonna quickly do one hunt to show an example of the reward system. So let's go ahead and just do a hard hunt. That means we need to have the correct species, gender, growth, and nature. So when we click that button, it actually opens up this menu, which will show you the Pokemon that you're hunting for. So currently we are hunting for a Spiritomb. It is required to be male, gender, timid nature, and ordinary growth. If we can get all three of those things on a Spiritomb, we will be able to exchange it for a reward. And it actually has a timer right here that you can see at any point in time. Now, if you do end up being unable to find this Pokemon and you just want to cancel your hunt, you can actually go ahead and click this button here. And then you can actually go ahead and either cancel this will continue your current hunt or you can go ahead and confirm that choice and that will end your hunt and you can go ahead and begin a new one however you will have to wait on that free timer unless you have bonus hunts available or end up spending gems so even if you cancel your hunt that does not mean you get a free new hunt straight away so let's go ahead and go back into our hunt and here we see spear tomb let's go ahead and just spawn this guy in really quick so pokey spawn or pokey give wisp in spear tomb i believe he was 
I think those were all the specifications that we actually had there. Male, timid, and ordinary growth. I could be wrong on that. Let me go in and check. Nope, that's right. Okay, so once you have the Pokemon, you put it in your party, you'll actually be able to select this, which is Deliver Pokemon. And then you can go ahead and mouse over all the Pokemon in your inventory, and you can see for our Wingle, this Pokemon does not meet the requirements, but if we go to our Spirit Tomb, this Pokemon meets the requirements. You can go ahead and click that, and then you'll have a second option to confirm it, just to make sure so that people don't accidentally uh, turn in the wrong Pokemon, and you can always cancel delivery. Um, but once you deliver your Pokemon, it's gone forever. You don't get this Pokemon back. So we're going to go ahead and confirm the delivery, and it should take us to the prize menu. And here you can see some prizes. Now, we don't actually have this third slot completely set up yet. It will be ready to go, and I can assure you, you most likely will not be seeing any hoes unless you're completing the last tier of hunts. And even then, it'll be a little bit rare. But for now, it was just in for testing. However, we do have the coins all set up, and we have the gym set up. Now, the way this works is you get to select a single reward. So it'll randomly generate generate a, an amount of coins based on the tier that you picked. So for example, we got 25,226 coins. It will randomly generate a amount of gems depending on how many, or depending on what tier you're at. So we ended up getting 20 gems, and then we also have the choice of a Pokemon or item can show up in this slot. Uh, we just happened to get a Ho-Oh, which is just for testing purposes and will most likely be removed or at least lowered in the odds of that actually appearing. So for the sake of this video, I'm just going to go ahead and choose the Ho-Oh, and you can see we get it instantly straight away, a free Ho-Oh. Now, if we go back into the system, you can actually see here, your next free hunt will be in 7 hours, 56 minutes, and 11 seconds. So it goes from the time that you actually, I believe, begin your previous hunt. So if your previous hunt expires, say you choose to do an insane hunt, which has an 8-hour timer on it. If that hunt expires without you canceling it, you'll actually have a free hunt available straight away because that previous hunt took up that entire 8-hour cooldown. So the cooldown actually begins at the exact time that you begin your previous hunt. That's when it starts counting down. So I said a little bit earlier on in this video that you can actually get bonus hunts. So we're actually going to be doing something on all three of the servers, Crystal, Silver, and Gold, where you can claim your own bonus hunt. Now I'm only going to be giving out one of these bonus hunts at this point in time, and all you have to do is type slash kit bonus hunt in game anytime after January 3rd. It will only be there probably until January 5th or so, so a couple of days for you to claim that prize, and you'll get yourself one single free bonus hunt, which you can use at any any point in time it should never expire so if you don't want to use it straight away you can wait um, but yeah this is pretty much the entire plugin all shown off it's pretty cool and I think it'll add something new to the server that you guys will enjoy doing to earn some cool rewards now I want to go ahead and take this time to take any of your suggestions when this plugin releases on January 3rd it will actually be in sort of a beta state where we're going to be testing things making lots and lots of changes based on your guys feedback So if you have any ideas just from this video, you can go ahead and leave them down in the comments below I will take a look at them any ideas for rewards that you believe should be added in The pokey hunt or any changes that you think should be made to the system leave those down below I will read all of them and I will make sure to implement the things that I think will make the biggest improvement to the plugin so we will cover Poke Hunt more once this plugin is released on January 3rd, but for now, that is going to be the entire video, so I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, make sure to go ahead and subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video, and let me know what you think about Poke Hunt down in the comments below. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one.